and welcome back. Today I'm going to do a review on a mask. I've had these masks for a little time now and I thought I would do a review, which is why my face is not done. I actually just got out of the shower. The first one is a mud mask. This is for face and body and it's a cleansing mud mask. This one you just use on cleansed skin and you pack it on really thick and you keep it for two to five minutes. Um, it says don't let it dry, but I've let mine dry and I feel like it does really good. Um, and you're supposed to remove it with a wet sponge and rinse with cool water. The next one is a Fango Delicato and this is for dry skin. It comes in a container like this. This is what it looks like inside. And the last mask is this pink one. It's a brightening mud mask for face and body. And this is uh, just that. It just brightens for the face and body. So I am going to try out. I've already tried out this green one before and I really do like it. Um, but the other two I have not tried yet. So I'm definitely going to try out this one for dry skin. I feel like my skin is a little dry. I actually just cleansed it and did a deep washing. So I'm going to open up this one. And again, this is what it looks like. I have not tried this one yet. They all smell the same. It's a nice, pleasant scent. I really do like it. It gets strong though, so if you are not into scents or anything, um, this might not be the product for you. But I'm just going to take my finger and it is very creamy. I really like that these masks are creamy and it's like whipped like for your skin. So I'm going to apply this and I'm sorry if I'm looking at the viewfinder. I am um, just need to know where to put this. So I'm just going to put it all on my face. So as I apply it, you definitely can smell the scent. It is a little strong. I don't mind it. Um, I don't get irritation from any type of scents, but if you do, um, this probably wouldn't be the right mask for you. And my forehead, I have actually have not been breaking out much, um, which is really nice. I've been using my natural skincare, which is the Shea Moisture African Black Soap. That soap is amazing. Um, that's all I've been using for my skin and I haven't been breaking out and um, I really do love it so so I'm assuming you leave this on for two to three minutes um, that's what I'm gonna do um, I'm actually feeling a little bit of tingling and a little burning sensation right in this area I usually um, feel that like tingling and burning in that area always um, especially around like my upper lip area um, and around my nose. So that's what I'm feeling right now. It's not that bad. Um, I'm gonna go wash my finger and I'll let it dry and I'll come back and share uh, what it looks like. So I'm gonna go wash it off and I'll show you guys what my face looks like and you guys can, you know, know if I like it or not. Alright guys, so I am back. I just washed the mask off of my face. My face feels so clean. It definitely is smoother and like I said, clean. These masks are used to detoxify and it leaves the most even the most sensitive skin feeling radiant, hydrated, and fresh. And I definitely think that my skin is like very hydrated and fresh. And um, it's definitely ready for makeup application. Um, and yeah, so if you guys aren't sure if you will like these, definitely go with the pods. They come in like this box. You get six in a box. Um, and the ones that I got is the Delicato and then the regular mask. I'm really loving this line. And I hope you guys check it out. I'll have any links down below um, where you can get yours. And yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!